My name is Dr. Lawrence Paul Equilipton Letzlotstilton. I'm Salish and I'm an artist. Equilipton is a man who possesses many masks. Letzlotstilton is a man who possesses many colors. So I'm an artist living here in colonial British Columbia under occupation. <clears throat> In this lifetime, I have seen 78% of songbirds evaporated from this earth. So it's, recording history is, uh, as an artist, since contact I guess it's like a the First World War. The French, the English, the Russians, the Portuguese, the Spaniards, the British. <clears throat> a lot of countries came over here, started to kill the Indians, killed millions of them successfully. Books have been written, guns and steel and disease, all of them about the conquest of this world and the First Nations. They call it the manifestation of destiny. You have the luxury of exterminating indigenous peoples of the world supremacy they're still doing it <clears throat> they're still killing us it's a measurement of supremacy power standing armies CSIS Canada CIA all of them I mean it's we know the agenda. I know what this world is, is doing. and This whole continent is a write-off. It was always just a colony for Europeans to come over here and rape and pillage. <clears throat> they're still raping and pillaging, but now they're murdering Native women in vast numbers in this continent. But that's, that's colonialism. How do you successfully stalk and let's just kill indigenous women in the Americas. <clears throat> that's, that's our everyday life. It's not, uh, fantasy, it's not a colonial dream that I'm living in, that it's some far away land and some magical place that everything is really good and but it is, if you are a colonialist it is good if you are a pilgrim it's good if you are a landed immigrant, If it's good if, if you're an, a foreigner because it gives you that right you have the right to oppress and have no humanities whatsoever in this world for indigenous peoples around the world. We are a world problem <coughs> and you're exterminating us. That is an ongoing Reservations are the oldest internment camps in history. You can look on the news and you can see people leaving their areas and going into holding places. You can look at the history of concentration camps in World War II. 
But if you truly look at the history of America, you can see living concentration camps. <clears throat> We're not free. You have the Indian Act. You have the Bureau of Indian Affairs in the United States in power. So our hands are open. We don't have any weapons, mass destruction. We can't do anything about <clears throat> everything that is being done to this planet. What's the rush? Why is it necessary to kill all mammals on this earth in the next 50 years? What is this great plan? Is it necessary to have all the killer whales exterminated? Is it necessary? These things that we have, <clears throat> songs that we sing, we've always had them, but now they're going. They're going to die. <clears throat> That's... It's like saying I have the luxury of watching the destruction of my motherland and you get to do it as a global domination. <clears throat> I'm going to watch it and I'm seeing it. And I'm just supposed to shut the fuck up, Indian, about everything that you do to this world. Clear cut to the last tree. You're here to destroy it. You're not here for any salvation. You're not here to stop global warming. You have no intentions of stopping global warming. None of you. You have no answer on the internet. <clears throat> to say it's such a day you will stop heating the planet. Who am I to judge you? Your gods? <clears throat> if you believe in your gods? These things that I talk about are normal everyday lives of the planet. The South American plight of indigenous peoples all over the world suffering the same consequence living in the same domination of this world we have stepped aside you've killed enough of us you're killing everything are you happy? Will you be happy in this world to cut down all the trees, to kill all the bears, to kill all the deer, to kill all the moose, to kill all the mammals? When will the quench of thirst of your greed be finished? When it's all done? It's going to get really quiet when you do this to wake up to no songbirds to eliminate everything that's a lot of power it's very selfish of Europeans I find human race a selective very ugly creepy people that have no intentions other than destroying this planet for their own greed how do you stop something like that they have their own interest <clears throat> so 
So I get to watch it. And I do watch it. And I do paint it. It's my job as an artist to record history. When you're on the outside looking in, your observations are a lot more different when you're on the other side of the fence. We've always been an us and them. The Indian Act is nothing more than a white supremacy act of the world. It gives you the privilege and right to limit my human existence, to not recognize me as a human being. We are not recognized as human beings. We are wards of the crown of this country. We are property of. We are not free human beings. This is the reality of this time in history. So it, we can't really say anything anymore about what you do. We can't do anything about anything that you do. We're silenced. We have no seat at the United Nations. The G20 have the power. It's not my uh, place to say that this is really a wonderful world and everything is perfect and we're doing a great job. I'm not on the other side of the fence. Your utopia is a lot different than mine. The coral reefs are dying. The fish are dying. The salmon are dying. Give it time. They say that there's a crisis of global warming in this country, that we are being affected globally. Then they turn around and Justin Trudeau, such an ass. Do you hear me, Justin? It is wrong to make a pipeline at this time in history to make a pipeline to increase global warming. To say that there's a crisis and then turn around and make more problems on this earth. What's the rush? Why do you want to destroy this planet so fast? Why do the humans want to, why do the humans want to do that? Is there not enough greed fast enough? I think that's the problem when big companies in Alberta make billions and billions and billions of dollars. Now they want to make more on a pipeline that has no purpose other than making more money and destroying. Alberta has so many billions of dollars of a mess to clean up. Now they want to make a bigger mess. They have no intention of cleaning it. It's said that it would take over 200 years to clean up. But those are just words. It'll take thousands of years to clean. So that it's a write-off. I don't care. It was never theirs to look after. It was there for the taking kill it, destroy it. That's the only reason that they're here. You're not here to look after this land. Environment Canada is a joke. You're here to kill everything. I know that. You're colonialists. Emancipate me and every native person 
for the amount of time that we have left on this planet. Give me human citizenship. Get rid of the Indian Act. What's wrong with a free human being? What's wrong with me as a person being a free human being? To decide my destiny. It's too much to ask this world. You all have your hands around my throat. There's too much money at stake. You will never free us. You can put Leonard Pelche in jail, but you're, we're all in the same boat. We're all prisoners outside or inside. That's the reality of natives in America. I'm sorry it's not a beautiful romantic notion that you have, but today it's a bad colonial day. And I'm not very thankful for smallpox. I'm not very thankful for residential schools that killed thousands and thousands and thousands of children, rounded up, put in Catholic Indian residential schools across Canada. The government officially said we only killed 5,000. A nice figure makes you look humble, innocent. Try 30,000. Try 40,000. Be realistic about residential schools. I think that there's a problem that uh, people have with residential schools. The history of colonialism. You're looking at me in a very strange way on your television probably right now. We're looking at this and wondering why he's talking like this. It's because my language was taken away from me at residential school that English was rammed, was rammed down my fucking throat. It was against the law for us to speak our own language. So don't fucking question me about your fucking language and your whole fucking culture when you had the luxury of fucking destroying mine and killing my world and destroying everything. And you wonder why I'm not really happy with you, any of you that I don't trust you. It must be nice to send your priest in to rape and kill and molest at your luxury all those children it must be a great satisfaction to say that we've come to the analysis that missing and murdered women is a genocide. That you can publicly gratitude and thank yourselves for a very successful colonial year that we're still an ongoing genocide of Aboriginal people that the world should to be appraising Canada that is successfully maintaining its colonial position to rape our native women, kill them at their leisure. And there's nothing that I can do about it. Nothing that I can say about these things that you do.
who am I to say what your pleasure is? Yeah, it's, these are the things that I get to paint. It can get really ugly. It is an ugly world. I want to settle this really clear for you optimists. They're not here to save this planet. They're all here to kill it. Greed. Come see why. It's always been that way. You want to save the world? Good luck. You know, it's... How do you stop global warming? How do you stop the G20? Are you willing to, to stop global warming? Time's running out. Some say it's already too late. So the, the pacifist says, let's take it all anyways then. Why not just enjoy it while we have whatever we have left for the little time we have because we're going to kill it all. We are killing it all. That's the world. It's here, it's now. It's violent. How much how fast a destruction is. It's just a matter of choice. 83% of American groundwater is already contaminated, unfit for human consumption. This continent has become a cesspool. Dioxins, companies, mining, settling ponds, breaking, it's all collapsing. I mean, they're not here to clean it. They're too messy. You have no intentions of cleaning anything. Why should you wipe your ass here in America? It was a throwaway continent. This is the time that I live in. This is the, my reality that I have to live in. You may not like it, or you may enjoy it. I think it, you probably have great pleasure in, in, in the consequences of the success of putting a colonial flag on this continent and killing everything exterminating all the grizzlies, killing all the black bears in regions. It's just like Europe. Kill all the wolves. You killed all the grizzly bear. You have no more bears in regions now. You roped them, ripped them apart to pleasure. Now you're here to do the same thing. Yeah, I, I see you, but I'm invisible, voiceless. I'm not a patriotic person. I don't like your British Empire. 
I don't like your queen. I don't like the royal family. I don't like anything for what it stands for. Your whole concept of coming here, your whole purpose in life in the last 500 years has been destruction and death and extermination. What can I expect from you in the next 500 years? Are we to sit on colonial internment camps forever? Are you going to keep me a prisoner on a colonial concentration camp and all native people forever? Is this your utopia? Is this your dream? I don't like it. I don't like your dream. It's ugly. I have my own religious beliefs. And I want to keep them. I will be that noble savage. I always will have a fire, no matter what. And I'm going to sing to the songs of the animals that are, exist. We've always said everything is sacred. The difference between the two of us is that you have this philosophy. I think, therefore I am. I am the noble savage. And I will say to you this once, to the world, all my relations, therefore I will have wisdom. Everything is sacred. What gives you the right to exterminate all the mammals? What God-given right gives you that power and supremacy? Why? So uh, our relationship is different. Where you came from, why you're here. You look at the animals on this continent. They were always free. We looked after everything. We didn't look after everything just for you to come over here and exterminate everything. We looked after it because we thought it was important to have respect and honor everything that is alive and everything is sacred. You will never understand that because you don't believe that an ant has sovereignty. That you don't think that a butterfly has a right. That a grizzly bear has his own land. That he's equal. You believe that you are superior than everything and anything and any other human beings. So you will kill them just because you are power. Global warming is on its way. You are going to make it hotter on this planet. It's two degrees now, three degrees, four degrees. So it's, it's going to be like that. This is the world. It 
Is it a time when you start to call yourself after nothing's left? Is that day coming? Are you going to have your super race? Do you plan on killing all the colored people on the planet? So you can take it all? With your nuclear weapons? With your conventional weapons? with your drones. We're waiting, we're watching. Are you gonna bring it there? Is this the real new world order? What is the new world order? We know you wanna kill everything. You're successful at doing that. So, we'll watch, we'll see. I'm an artist, I can see what you're doing. You can see what I'm doing. You know, we're your world national security risk. We're still a threat to you. My existence is a threat to you because I'm a person of color. Now I'm, I think I've said what I've had to say to this world and you and you're like, you don't like my message. Go fuck yourselves. Because I think the whole world are a bunch of fucking assholes that don't give a shit. Up. They're only concerned about themselves. Your own greed and kill it. I'm not happy about that. I used to be an optimist. And th things could get better. Well, they're not. And I have to accept that. And I have to accept the idea of how dangerous and how lawful evil you are. You say your Christians are on the world. Only sinners go to church because you can forgive yourself for all the evil things that you've done and doing that you're going to do. That's why I don't trust you. I'm going to stay a noble savage. And I'm going to pray in my own way. I know that it's useless to think that you could change as human beings. But nevertheless, I will pray for you and all of you because I'm the noble savage. Everything is sacred. You're all sacred, but it doesn't give you the right to do what you're doing that if I say it's wrong, I think that it's wrong. It's my right. Am I allowed to have an existential thought in this world? That is the question under the Indian Act of this world. Can you can you allow an Indian to have a free thought of mind? So it's...
For now, we'll just have our colonizational stress disorder syndromes. The suffering. Watching. Losing hope. It's not a... You'll never understand what it is to watch your homeland being destroyed because it was never yours. This is my motherland. This is my homeland. You can put your colonial flag on it and I don't give a fuck. You can put your Canadian flag on it. I'm not a patriotic person, never will be. Because I'm not going to kiss your flag. I'm not going to sing your national anthem because I don't believe in it. Because I don't believe anything of your governments are saying or doing to save this world. So why should I sing your fucking national anthem? And fuck you, Queen, too. Fuck your Queen. All of them. Fucking British Empire. Sick of it. Bullshit. This whole fucking world is fucking bullshit. You're killing everything. That's the truth. That's the reality. How could I say that? 600 million salmon since contact got brought down to 40 million or less now. In less than 500 years. 76% of all songbirds have already gone in less than 500 years. Don't tell me I'm bullshit. Yeah. Fuck you, world. Fuck you all for what you're doing. That's why I'm having a bad colonial day every day. Because you're you're here to kill everything. You're not here to protect this world. You're selfish. You're greedy. That's it. I have nothing really more to say, unless you have a question to ask. I have a few questions, yes, thank you very much. Um, I have heard that there is 450 million indigenous people around the planet, in every part of the planet. What would you like to say to them? Not one of them sits at the United Nations. Why? We can sit here and talk this until we're blue in the face. It's because of the color of my skin. That derives us in that position. We're indigenous. The noble savage. That's. We gave you environmentalism, but what did you do with it? We talked for for the last 500 years to you. Did you listen to anything? Anything that we said, anything. What's the point? It's too late. Your answer was with the gun in my face. And any Indian got in its way. Take the cannon out and fucking kill them. Massacre them all. You're still massacring them. 
you're still exterminating them. Anything else? Yeah. Um, so there is also like it seems many people that are genuinely interested and trying to do something against climate change and are trying to support people from different minority groups. So, what do you think of that? Like, because like, it seems like today there is uh, an extraction of lands and there is capitalism and there is a violence which is uh, consistent throughout history but it seems there is also people that are trying to do something about it. What, what, what do you say about that? I mean... The environmentalist movement does not have a standing army. So we are at war. You look at it in a way that It's ruled by gun. The capitalist world, its might, the 1% rule. How do you stop? You're asking how do you stop global warming? And How do you stop the stock exchange market of the worlds if you want to stop global warming? How do you stop cars around the world from driving? Is there time anymore? to direct your chances are slim do we just use the native people use them as human shields and sacrifice them first for our environmental quest to try to stop the world Try and stop any of these things. These countries will take out their armies and kill you. This is a 1% rule. That's the reality of this world. They have the government. They have their airplanes they have their tanks they have their spy planes they control the media so you're asking to to save this planet why not stop world day Shut it all down. If you truly want to save the world, can you do it? Can you slow?
slow the temperature down of this planet. It's too high, two degrees, economically. Gross national product. Can you come and take it down to a slow snail? You know, these are, you can look at the 1% and the rule that they have of the, the domination of the planet. But it is about how we live, how we die. So, that's just a choice. Do we need what we have? Can we take only what we need? Yes, we can, but if somebody says you have to pay for this water, well, I'll bottle it and make you pay for it. Everybody else can, that knows how to take a container, put it in a glass jar, turn the tap on and it's free. Simple acts. To say we will stop using bottled water period. People won't like that. Some native communities don't have fresh water. And they serve and they they need fresh water. But the government won't allow them to have clean water in this country. This is Canada. Why would you give clear drinking water to Aboriginal people? Why would you care? Just a bunch of fucking Indians. I don't give a fuck. We're Canadian. We fucking hate Indians. They don't like us. They never did. They came here with fucking hate. They've always hated us. There's no love. There's no love your fellow man in Christianity. There's hate. There's always hate. It's the greatest asset of the colonialists. Let's fucking hate them. So we can kill them. So we can take everything. So we can kill everything. Eight. Gives you the right to pillage. Gives you supremacy, power. It's not an easy thing to say that I have an answer to global warming. May not like it. May not like the answer that I give you. But who am I? How do you shut down the global stock market? Period. Shut it all down. You don't need it. Yeah, I understand global warming. I understand its mechanisms. And How do you stop the G20? From destroying the planet. Europe is, has been 
a cesspool before they even got here. And it's a bigger cesspool. So it's, it's hard to say that we can truly clean up this planet. You don't have the resources. You don't have the monetary wealth. You don't have the power. The biggest talk sites in the United States of America, they're not even going to bother to clean them up. They're called super toxic sites. Won't clean them up. Never will. They have a standing army. It's all about the 1%. What is the relationship that you have with the 1%? You should be talking to them. Make them answer to you. Why me? I'm not the one that's doing this. How come you don't get to talk to the 1%? Who running around with this camera? That's the power of this world. You know, go talk to the richest man in the world. See what he has to say. Would you even get an interview? These are questions that have to be asked and answered. It's a million dollar, billion dollar question. It's because you're concerned now that it's getting too late. You know, it's, I didn't do it, I didn't make it. It's not my problem. I'm not the problem of the world. The Indian problem is just a colonial problem. We're still here, but I still think that in reality, I don't, just don't trust you, any of you. So it's, we don't see eye to eye. How can I stand with an environmentalist side by side as another race is it worth it is it worth my time they want to put a pipeline here bitmen oil stuff sinks has no it's in the opposite direction of global warming completely Canada is the problem. Boycott Canadian oil. All of it. Globally. Boycott Canadian farmed goods. Boycott all Canadian goods then. If you want to stop Canada from polluting, boycott them. Boycott all their cattle. All their farm fish? Is that an answer? Would make me happy. <laughs> but I don't think that they would like that. Because it only means that they'd have to answer for something. We have a pollution tax. Four of the premiers threatened to leave the Confederation of Canada if they don't get their way that they want to pollute more of the land. I have no problem with these people leaving the Confederation of Canada. 
The Confederation of Canada it was always here to destroy. If they want to break this country up, be my guest, because they're just destroying it anyways. The history of, of threatening to leave this country is quite ironic, the French. The problem with the French is that they made a mistake here in, in, in Canada. They should have just talked to the indigenous peoples of their lands and honored them and then said that they would leave. But oh no, they got too greedy, too arrogant. And then they lost. They didn't get a French flag on this continent. They're always, they were always mad about that. Still are. And they're still ramming French down the native throats in the east. No, it's... You can break this country up. It's not a big problem. They want to leave, fine. If the French want to leave, truly leave the Confederation of Canada, if they be, want to become the far right, all they have to do is talk to the indigenous peoples of their lands and make an agreement with them. And go your own way. And if you want to have a salvation and protect the land and work with the indigenous peoples, they will work with you. But if you just want to leave the Confederation and destroy it all, they're not going to work with you. They're not going to go with you. These are questions that have always been asked of this nation. So it's We've always been a take it or leave it kind of situation, but land claims in this country is 96% of British Columbia is non-treaty. Why should we trust Canada on land claims? How can I trust you with, with all this water, with all these trees? There's no moratorium on how many logging trucks there are in British Columbia. The world's biggest clear cut is in British Columbia. The world's biggest clear cut. So, Canada is an environmental problem to the world. We need forests. How much of a moratorium is necessary? How could, how dare you say that to us? Well, you want to give me an answer? You want me to give you an answer to global warming? Stop cutting down all the trees. Invest in hemp. You don't need all the trees. British Columbia's lost most of its old growth forest. Scorched earth policies. Kill everything. So global warming. We want to change the world. Try a world Four day work week. Relax. Take it easy. Slow down. What's the rush? You know, it's 
elect people that will give you take 30% of the 1% wealth of the world and clean up your world. If you really want to clean this world up, tax the fucking rich and use your tax properly and protect the earth and say no. That's some of the answers that you may be looking for. They may not like what I said, but I didn't take everything from the 1%. I only said 30% or 35%. 40%. They could cry about it for a little while. But it's for your own good. So if you truly want to save the world, that's some of the things that has to be done. It takes a lot of money to clean up toxic sites. It takes a lot of restoration. It takes a lot of years to plant all the trees back. A global effort to plant all the trees in the world Industrialization, industrialization of the world was these endeavors are over 800 years old, the Industrial Revolution, the Enlightenment years of the planet, its technology. The party's over. It takes anywhere from two to 10,000 years for a forest to recycle itself. That is how long it's gonna take to bring back this earth. Plant trees everywhere. It'll create jobs. They may even want to ride a bike. Electric car. We could eliminate some of the dams. Solar energy of the world. Solar power transferring, globalizing a world of buildings, windows, all the windows become solar panels. Try, try that. Try saying that all buildings of the world have to be converted to solar panels. And then take down the nuclear power plants of the world. Because you don't need them. These are just ideas. You have Mother Earth heats up, gives energy. It's there. Learn how to use it. Wind, it's not always successful, but it 
we have to eliminate all carbons of the world, period. Period. All of it. Everywhere. At once. To be honest, the world has probably five years to do it. If you can't do that, why are we even talking? We've been talking this talk to the world till we're blue in the face. We've been talking about things since you arrived. So it's, it's come to this now. And you come to me for advice. Well, these are the things that I may ask you to do. To save your world. To save your dream. But what gratitude will I get? Why would I want to save your world if I'm just going to stay on a colonial internment camp forever? It's like, thank you very much. I'm just going to kick you in the fucking nuts now. Thank you for all the information, all the thoughts. And, but I'm still going to be your prisoner of this colonial war, of this globalization. You may want to think about freeing us. It's just a thought. You may want to ask us to be at the United Nations. Someday you may want to even have us sit at the tables of your governments and give guidance. But right now, you have too much hate. It was 500 years ago that we were free. We had our own governance. That's what you were afraid of all along. That we knew how to govern ourselves. That's the world that we have. That's the world we want. I can share it. I can teach this world. But I'm not about to die for it. Maybe I should. Maybe they can use me for a human shield and stop The Trans Mountain Pipeline. Is that what we have to do? Is that what this world wants to do? Is to declare environment, environmentalist terrorists so that they can kill them all? Are, are the world gonna be declared people that want to save the earth environmental terrorists? And you're going to start to kill them? Because they want to stop everything? Water is life. You have to look after it. I'm here just to say that Mother Earth was granted to us. I'm only answerable to Mother Earth 
not Canada, not the G20. If you're going to rule by gun and take everything and kill everything, do you think it's going to last? Can you say, well, we killed all the mammals. We killed all the indigenous peoples. Well, we met our objectives. You know, it's, I understand it. So it's kill or be killed? Is that the nature of humans? It's humanities? Do we really have any humanities anymore? Millions and millions of people dying. A lot of questions have to be asked of this world. Simple act of giving free condoms to every person on this planet. Free. Everywhere. We're humans. We fuck like rats. There's so many of us. We don't know how to stop. That's the human race. We have great pleasure with our sex and our human beingness. Can we sustain 15 billion, 20 billion, 25 billion, 30 billion human beings? This could be free for all. So it's the human nature of man and woman. All everything has to be looked at. If you're going to talk about global warming, so it's it's all about the Catholic Church saying that abortion is illegal. There's a lot of politics in humans, left, right, and it's human nature, the governance. Humans should have no say at all about the abortion issue if you're not a woman. They should be the only ones saying anything and making any laws. Man has no right on any religion anywhere on this planet to say anything on what they do. That is the problem we have of humanities is that we don't have enough respect for women globally. We're too much of a bunch of male chauvinist pigs. And we can't accept that. Anything other than selfish. Where did these words come from? 
to man's world. Why did we make religious laws to eliminate their rights? Do you want to stop global warming and maintain this ideology? Religious beliefs globally so we have a lot to learn do we have the time to change it's a very old question I'm a man I can change if I have to it's a funny line heard it listened to it but it does mean a lot. I believe in the humanities of all human beings should be equal in everything. I wish that we had a planet that was like that and I could truly could have an utopia. We are far from being an utopian world. So that's the world. The Catholic Church has to realize that not all of us are going to be Catholics. The Muslims have to realize that I am going to be a sacred person wherever I am and pray however I am. Religious wars are not necessary. That's just an excuse for war. They've been using it for years. All religious groups should be taxed on the world. There should be no more tax, there should be no more free ride for the religious groups of the world. If you want a world equality, why should we give the Catholic Church a free ride? What makes them special? What makes you any better than any of us? That's... These are just questions. Somebody has to answer to this. Somebody has to answer to this world in the future for all the things that were done, that they're doing. Can we just stand in a, with an M16 and get on the news and just say, well, try and stop us from killing all the mammals? This is where we're going. It's not a pretty picture. That's why I paint. I paint because I, I'm honest about everything. I have nothing to hide. At all. In this world. I have nothing to hide. I'm no different than any other man. So, that's life. I have six daughters with different wives. I learned from all my mistakes, but I have six daughters. And I truly love them, and that's life. Finally get it right, and finally get a nice, beautiful woman to live with. Appreciate you and 
love and happiness. I'll take what I can get in this world right now. But I do, I would wish global warming away. Can it be done? No. I'll say it again. I wish you all good luck, long knives. Whatever choice you make. You know, it's, I live in a world of us and them. You come to talk to me. I am them. This is our world experience. It's always been that way ever since you arrived. Us and them. So, maybe on a good day we might get a chance to think about what is this world doing and someday we might get a chance to actually do it and actually say that we have achieved the stopping of global warming. If you can't get it done, it's over. It's, it, it, it will happen. And expect the inevitable. It's always, an, it, the answer is like this. How long did it take to make the North Pole? How long did it make to create the South Pole? Do you know? How many thousands of years did it snow there? Layers and layers and years and years and years of snow. Ice packing itself down. So you melt all that. So as long as it took to bring it back, it'll take that much time. So measure the snow and find out how many hundreds of thousands of years that it has taken to make it. That is your answer to global warming. You know, it's so either you protect it or you don't. That's just the time of this world. That's the nature of where we're at. It's the measuring of global warming. The, the polar caps is the measurement of time. Okay. I think we're done. Yeah.